A lot of people ask, okay, why does the world need a new translation? There are already more than 120 translations in English that have been done in the last 400 years. And the answer is very simple. Uh, not all translations are made equally. Uh, so what makes this translation stand out as a good translation is number one, accuracy. Because I'm a native speaker of Arabic and I studied for over 30 years at Al-Azhar. I got my bachelor's degree from there, master's degree, PhD, and I taught at Al-Azhar. So I studied Islam in Arabi and I studied Islam in English, Ulum al-Quran, translation. So Alhamdulillah, I have the qualifications to translate the Quran and I did it with a uh, team. But what makes it actually stand out? Number one, clarity, accuracy, eloquence, and flow. So those who look at the translation, the way the surahs are broken down to themes and the titles and so on and so forth, the introductions, the explanations and the footnote, they will uh, uh, appreciate this translation. So we are actually taking Quran translations to the next level where people can read something that makes sense and something that is true to the uh, original text. Well, when, when I was looking for a name for the translation or a title for the translation, I decided to choose something that Allah already uses in the Quran to refer to the Quran. So yes, there is Al-Quran Al-Azim, there is Al-Quran Al-Kareem, but also Allah Subh'anaHu Wa Taala describes the Quran as uh, Al-Mubin, Al-Wadah. Al-Bayyin al-Wadah wa quran in mubin which is mentioned twice in the Quran, one in Surah Hijr and one in Surah Yasin. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala calls it wa quran in mubin the clear Quran. So I decided to use this name to refer to it because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala already uses it in the Quran. Well, it took me over five years now to uh, you know to finish the translation so first I did the translation by myself which took me about a year then the revisions and the proofreading and the editing took over uh, five years uh, sorry four years and every time there is no a new edition of the translation I read the whole thing and I make some improvements to the uh, to the translation and over 75 people were involved uh, scholars editors proofreaders old, young, men, women, Muslims, non-Muslims, high school, you know, students, everyone was, was involved because this Quran is for everyone. It is not only for Muslims, uh, it's, it's for everyone. And this is why I trust, inshallah, this is uh, a very accessible translation. They can go to uh, theclearquran.org or theclearquran.com and if in, in Canada, alhamdulillah, we moved to Canada now, uh, they can go to Quran uh, uh, for Khan Project, for Project.ca. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, وَلَقَدْ يَسَّرْنَا الْقُرْآنَ لِلذِّكْرِ We have made the Quran easy to understand and remember. So why do translation, uh, translators make it so difficult for people to understand the Quran? They use old English, they use complicated words, and if, you know, the Quran is simple in the Arabic language. It's eloquent, it's powerful, but in the, uh, uh, in the same time, it's, it's accessible and it is easy to understand. And we should reflect the beauty and the power of the Quran in the English as well. In a way the people can understand, Muslims and non-Muslims. Because this is the final revelation, so it has to be accessible to everyone.